Here we have another 75 inch Samsung 4K TV that was destined to go to the landfill. I just couldn't stand to see that happen, so I'm going to share with you how we disassemble and complete the repair on this TV today. I was given this TV due to the symptom of no power. The TV model number is QN. 75LS03TAF. All right, there's going to be a total of eight screws that go along the bottom edge here. They actually have Loctite on them, and they do not want to come out very easily. You want to make sure you have a very decent uh, tipped screwdriver or you will round these out. It's going to be very careful when you're trying to remove these or install them. So essentially there are um, four on either side of the middle. So there's one, two, three, four, and then there's four on the other side starting there. And you do not need to remove this one here. This one here kind of holds on to this assembly here. That's uh, remote sensor and uh, presence sensors. So uh, again, just along the bottom, you'll want to remove the screws to remove the panel. All right, to remove the back, once the screws are removed, you'll want to kind of pop this lower portion up. There's a few um, little like plastic uh, pins, detents that uh, will keep this bottom in. So you kind of want to get those around and then just kind of pull up by hand. And you can use a pry tool. You want to be careful on this lower edge. There are ribbon cables down here, so you don't want to insert any pry tools in here. Uh, but you can pretty much just pull up by hand, and you'll just kind of hear it um, detach. And you can kind of go around by hand and just continue to pop it up all the way around until you can lift off the back cover. All right, so far I've confirmed that the cable to the TV is okay. The one connect is fine. It's working perfectly fine. And uh, I've tested essentially the 350 volts coming into the TV. So you have a uh, power right here on this lower test point and then ground right here. So reading between these two, I read around 348 volts, which, which is within a specification. Um, so that brought me over to the... Uh, power supply. So I'm going to connect the ground to this side of the resistor and positive to this side. And you have to be very careful. This is lethal voltage. As you can see, we have 200 volts and that's DC. When I turn it on, it's actually, um, it's actually discharging right now. Uh, it just uh, went through a power cycle. Let me turn it on. You see the power switch. You'll see it'll go up to 345, and after a few seconds, it turns back off. Okay, it just turned off, or power cycled, I should say. And I can hear the one connect uh, clicking right now. So it just powered off, and basically we'll just watch this, and it'll, it'll continue to, to go down. Uh, another thing that I did was I tested uh, 13 volts here. We have nothing there. Um, let me just uh, double check here while we're on the this video. So let me turn it back on. I think it'll go up to about one volt. I have this in high volt scale right now. Yeah, so it goes up to about one volt DC, but it never comes up to 13 volts. Again, we have no backlight whatsoever. And this uh, set, basically, the only sign of life that we have is with the LED. And the LED just kind of power cycles. So um, if I hit the power button, you can hear the one connect turn or, or change state. I can hear it clicking. I verify that the one connect has the high voltage output. And it just sits and clicks and then goes through these power cycles. And again, we have no sign of life whatsoever. So since I've determined that we have the voltage on this board, um, 
across those uh, previously mentioned test points. And we verified that we have voltage coming into this board and nothing else going on um, on this board. This board is not producing any other secondary power. I am deeming this board bad and we'll replace it and come back to you here in a minute. So now we're up and running. Uh, the TV is uh, powering up. We do have backlights. Um, you can kind of see over there, you can kind of see like a bluish tinge. Um, actually uh, have Wi-Fi connected and it's actually playing um, streaming uh, content right now. So we're good. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you though um, some, some readings here. So we're in a DC scale. I'm going to read this 13 volts here and read 12.9 and then uh, we have our backlight channels as well there's four channels here and uh, they they should read between uh, around 110 volts okay we're 106.5 106 106.6 and 106.2 and 106.6 so that's uh, the readings on this so everything is working in this power supply uh, as we previously diagnosed um, we had power going in and no secondary powers uh, coming out of the board so uh, at first i thought it might be this board here um, this primary i don't know if we call it a motherboard or logic board but uh so that's pretty much where a lot of stuff is happening, um, but everything tested okay when I checked the test points of uh, our DC voltages coming in from the Connect 1, and then the uh, test points here. There's a 13 volt uh, test point um, in this area, and uh, those um, all read nothing because those 13 volt uh, power, uh, those 13 volt test points are derived from this 13 volt supply right here. So yeah, another one uh, successfully diagnosed and repaired. And there are some snaps around the edges of this. Just have to align it properly. too far. You can kind of see the holes in the middle. Um, if you get a line, they'll line up. You'll see kind of like a threaded hole. There we go. You can see it's uh, lined a little bit better here. Okay, you can kind of hear it click. That's kind of how it uh, came apart. Um, you kind of go around the edges. So I'm going to go around the top side and just kind of make sure everything's pushed down. Shortly after plugging in the set, you'll be greeted by the frame logo. And then once you set up Wi-Fi and input all of your personal settings, you'll be able to download all of your most favorite apps and enjoy streaming content. I've been viewing this TV now for a few days. It's had a beautiful picture and I've really enjoyed watching it. Speaking of watching it, thank you for watching this content. And if you'd like to see other similar content, please like and subscribe and I'll be sure to add other similar content.